Terminator returns to the future to fight tomorrow's evil cyborgs. His number tattoo proves he's programmed to protect the human resistance. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're taking a look at the NECA Terminator 2 Future War Metal Mash Terminator. Stay tuned. Okay, so a bit of a story first. Last Saturday, I decided to go spend the day with my uncle because it turns out that someone who I see regularly at the toy fairs actually has a shop that he's opened up there. So I thought, hey, may as well go pay him a visit and see if there's anything awesome there. So this guy did actually have the NECA Power Arm Kenner-inspired Terminator figure. And I stupidly didn't buy it. I am kicking myself to this day. And oh, it's it's just a figure that I really wanted. If I, if I just get the box. Um, it's this one. He had that. And he also had this one, which I'm reviewing now. And I, I nearly bought it. I was... God... I ended up getting the Invasion of Time set instead uh, from Doctor Who, you know, which I'm happy with, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, I, I just kind of feel like uh, maybe I'd have been much happier with that Terminator figure instead, but I was able to get this one, and while I didn't think much of him at first, I am actually starting to love him more and more, so we'll get straight on to him. Now, before we do start... I just want to show you guys some other stuff I got. I got this awesome NECA video game uh, Robocop. I love the paint on him, how he goes purple at the back. And he's based on the uh, Terminator vs. Robocop video game. I also do have the Endo Gunner from the same game, so when I review him, I'll make sure to have the Endo Gunner with me. And... oh. I also did get this awesome Kenner Terminator. I'm not specifically sure which one it is. Uh, I would have actually got the Kenner Power Arm uh, version, but sadly it didn't come with all of its, its accessories. It wasn't complete, so I uh, hope to do a review of this soon, as well as this guy. Awesome figure, by the way. Absolutely love it. And, you know, it is an older NECA toy, so I'm quite surprised. But he was only charging 15 quid for it. And I thought, there has to be a catch, surely. But no, it is genuinely a fantastic figure. He's a great seller. We really get on. And I hope, I fingers crossed, some miracle, he might be able to find another Power Arm T-800. Because, oh, I want him so bad. But we're here to talk about this one. So, we all have heard the horrible, nightmarish stories about NECA Terminator endoskeletons. Well, at least the silver ones, the standard ones. The paint chips off when you move it, the small, fragile parts break, the hands snap when you try and put the guns inside them, the pins come out, the legs break off, the plastic gets warped very easily... He can't stand straight because his toes are too loose. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a, um, a bit distressing, which is why I was equally as distressed when I picked this guy up, because when I first got him, he was brand new in the box. So let's just take a look at the box real quick. So sadly, I have opened him. I cut the flap open and just pulled the inside out so I can still keep the packaging looking relatively good. The trouble with blister packaging is once you tear the plastic off, you tear the cover, you tear this and, you know, it ruins the really nice picture. And I really like this picture. It looks very much like the Kenner toys, even the back. I really love how NECA have done that. And it shows you the features, so it shows you the quote. His eyes glow when the, there is light overhead. Uh, some poses may require hand support, and we'll get onto that shortly. Um, the Metal Mash Terminator with phased plasma rifle. The Future War Cyborg are 
cyborgs are tough, but Metal Mash Terminator can crush them all with his extra powerful punch, and he can fire his phased plasma rifle to take down the pack of cyborg villains. Yeah, you can tell that this toy line was aimed at kids, can't you? <laughs> but that's what I like. I like how Necker have kind of recreated that. Here you have the John Connor with his bike, the original version. Uh, yeah. Uh, then you have the Ultimate T-800, still got to get him. And I've also still got to get the Motorcycle Cop T-1000. Here we have the figure we're reviewing. I have thought of picking this guy up because he does have... A, I have actually found a site where I can get him quite cheaply. But I just don't know if I really want a T-1000 that looks like that. Like It's a cool gimmick, but that's all it really is, a gimmick. Uh, would quite like this Endo Glow uh, Terminator, but I can't seem to find him anywhere, so I don't know. But I really, really want this guy. He's the guy that I want the most. But sadly, missed out on it. So on the front, you've got this very nice image from Terminator 2. It's from the trailer that they did. And then you've got Terminator, Future War, Metal Mash, Phased Plasma Rifle, and Light Up Eyes. And then you've got this kind of almost time portal thing in the background. It's very cool. So yeah, it's it's a nice packaging. I really like it. Uh, the figure wasn't actually put in the packaging properly. It was kind of on an angle. So that already had me worried. I was like, oh, I hope nothing's broken in the box or gotten warped or bent. Uh, thankfully, nothing had. So I've just told you guys all of those horrorish nightmares about people who have owned the standard version of this, the silver version. I am very happy to say, touch wood, that none of the problems have actually appeared in this figure at the moment. Now, I say at the moment because obviously we don't know what the future holds, but I will say at least out of the box and for the first week that I've owned him, I have experienced virtually no problems at all with this figure. So I'm very, very happy with that. So we'll get the articulation out of the way. Uh, I couldn't get his head to move at first, but I have uh, slightly fixed it. It does go from side to side. Uh, it can't really go up and down, and I don't want to force it because I don't want to break anything. I just like him looking straight on anyway. You know, like he's, he's looking at you like... Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, his arms can go out to about here, but don't force it anymore because you can see where the cable starts there you don't want to snap that off you can put them forward and back but you don't want to move them too far you can't do a full 360 because of the cable so you have to be mindful of that you have a full 360 swivel at the bicep a 90 degree bend at the elbow now as you can see the pistons actually do work and they have these little uh, focus they have these, do you see that? This little pin inside them, which I've heard is a right bugger and tends to pop out so many times. So I'm going to try not to really move the arm all that much. But yeah, the piston does work. You also have a full 360 rotation at the wrist. And then you can swivel it slightly from side to side, but you don't want to push it too far because of these pistons here. This little thing here uh, flips up. I'm not really sure why it does that. I thought if maybe it had an ab crunch joint, but as far as I know, it doesn't. So, yeah, I'm not sure why it does that. On the back, uh, they've done something really clever here. These little uh, shoulder blade parts open, and they've hidden the legal guff inside them. So that's really clever, actually. So you don't uh, have to worry about all this writing being all over the figure. Uh, you've got all these nice pistons and things at the back. You've got these two screws here which hold it together. Now, here's where I thought it gets a bit naff. You can't move the legs. Well, you say that you can, but only ever so slightly, like a centimetre each way. Uh, you can bring them out to the side. Uh, Try not to get the arm caught. You can bring them out to the side, and as you can see, the pistons do work. 
uh, but you can't really move them forward or back. So really, you're only going to get like standing up straight poses. There is, however, a very large bend at the knee. You can bring it right the way up and the knee is on a proper metal pin. You can see there. And then you have a full 360 rotation at the foot, but I'm not going to rotate it because don't have to. There is articulation at the toes, but mine is really stiff and I'm not going to change that because I'm happy with that. Personally, I am not a fan of toe articulation, never have been, because it weakens your figure and it makes it so much more difficult to stand. So no, I'm really, really happy that my toe articulation is stiff and it just gives this guy a, like, just a much stronger sense of standing so that's really really good so taking a look at the detail on the figure it is very very impressive so instead of the standard silver uh, details that you have for endoskeletons you've got this very very nice metallic bronze that is over there uh, the base color for the plastic is just a matte black all around and you can see that on the pistons and also the inner workings on the inside plus you can just see in there where they haven't been able to get the paint in. And then on the chest, legs and arms and all the really visible bits, you can just see this very, very nice bronze wash. It really just accentuates the details. Like you can see all the little areas with the screws and all the various different lines and the texture pieces on the front and in the face. You know, I love that they've painted the teeth the different color just to make them stand out. You've got all those nice little cogs and everything. The detail on these is absolutely phenomenal. I really love how everything is differentiated. So these cables are bronze, but these ones are black. And like I say, you just want to be very careful with these because you know they are flexible, but too much pressure on them will cause them to snap. You know, so don't don't put too much pressure on them. But yeah, very very nice. It just makes me really want a silver one, you know, a standard one than this. But I really, really like this one. Love the numbering that they put on him. I've noticed, actually, having a Kenner toy with me, that this one has a very similar kind of tattoo. So I'm guessing that the Terminators with these kind of numbers on them are meant to be good Terminators. Like, they're fighting for the resistance, so you can kind of tell them apart. Because this is based on the Kenner toy, so the Kenner toy probably had the same thing. But it's nice that they've uh, there's also like a sort of barcode on it, just to show that, I don't know, it's property of the resistance or something. So I quite like that idea, actually. You know, you've got the, you've got the bad Terminators, but you've also got good ones that are fighting alongside the resistance. It's very, very cool. Like you just, you look at this all the way around and... The sculpting, the proportions, it's absolutely fantastic. I really do love it. So let's get on to the feature of this figure. Now, as you can tell straight away, like I'm just, this is just room light and it's already lighting up. I'm not shining anything on it. And that's because you have this transparent plastic all throughout the head. It's very, very nice at the back here. And if you hold it in the light, you can see that the eyes light up very very well as you can see here so we cover it up go off and then power on i mean how awesome is that you know i know a lot of people get very fussy about this sort of thing like they don't like these kind of things being on it because it ruins the sculpt but you're hardly going to display him facing this way are you like, you can't even see it when you face him from the front. And I just think having that feature looks so much better than just painting the eyes red. And I have the, as I said, I have the endo gunner from the video game. And most of these guys, they just kind of paint the eyes red. And it doesn't look as good as this. Like, these eyes really, really they look so much better in person than they do on camera. You know, and it's fantastic. I think what NECA should do is just re-release this guy, give him a pulse rifle, and keep the light feature. I think it should be mandatory for all of them. That's just my personal opinion. I know the Kenner endoskeleton did that, and so did the um, Terminator Salvation 
toys, all of those Terminator figures had light rods in them where they would light up. I can't remember what company made those, but I, I do have a few of them. I love those toys when I was a kid. So only accessory he comes with is his uh, plasma rifle. I keep saying pulse rifle. That's from Aliens, not not just plasma rifle. Um, this is slightly different to the standard ones. The standard ones would have silver along the top and they wouldn't have these red bits. Uh, it's a little warped here. That's very common. But, you know, some boiling water will fix that. No problem. And then it, to put it in his hand, you just very, very carefully. And I do emphasize carefully. Just clip it in like that. Like I said, lots of people's are broken with them trying to do this. Uh, sadly, it is quite loose in the hand. I'm thinking of using just a smidge of blue tack uh, to just kind of hold it a bit more sturdy. But it says on the box that, you know, some poses may require the, you know, handheld support, but actually, he stands really well, you know, and when you think you've got all this excess weight here, you would think that someone as thin and as, you know, light as this would just go straight over, but actually it doesn't. I did have him fall over on me once, but I find that if you just lean him back, slightly you just lean him back to counterbalance the weight he can hold it really really well and of course if you want to be a bit more you know you can always bring it up yeah that oh yeah that that is noticeably bringing him forward so you might have to might have to lean him back a bit for that kind of pose but yeah you just uh however you guys want to do it See the head. The head doesn't seem to want to come this way. It only, it goes. Uh, it just seems to want to come back to the center. So be careful when moving the head. But yeah, that that is awesome. I love that. I, I love Terminator endoskeletons. They've always fascinated me since I was a kid. So it's absolutely great to have one. So before we finish up, I'll just do a quick comparison. Here he is with Robocop. Here he is with the uh, Kenner, let's move him over a bit, Robocop, the Kenner Terminator, and the black suit Spider-Man. So, yeah, he goes very nicely on the shelf, and oh, just really, really great. I can't wait to display him with my other Terminator figures. Even though he wasn't in the films, I still think he fits in really, really nicely. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this review. Please like, share, subscribe and join the Warren. Stay safe and happy wherever you are in the world and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.